Hello everyone! So I've been in the search for good and pigmented watercolors and I've heard that these Kuretake Gansai Tambi watercolors should be pretty awesome. So I'm gonna test them out today and share my first impression with you guys. And oh my, these are so gorgeous, just look at them, so delicious. I've actually had these for almost a year now and I bought them myself, not sponsored. They are totally unused, I haven't tried them. They have just been laying around waiting for me to test them out, so I am super excited. And as you can see, the pans are huge compared to a normal half pan. There is at least three or four half pans in one of these Gansai Tambi pans. And the price is actually not too bad depending on where you get them. A 36 color set like this is around 30 to 55 dollars. I think I only paid 35 for this on eBay. Some of the colors are really dark and almost looks the same and that is because they are so pigmented. There is also some metallic paints in the bottom row of the box. I do have a whole set of the Gansai Tambi Starry Colors metallic paints which are awesome. I love them and they are super pigmented. And they are actually the reason I wanted to try these regular Gansai Tambi watercolors too. I think there is three sets of different metallic and shimmery paints from this brand that I will also make a review of in the future. What I first noticed when testing them out is that you don't have to prime them at all. Usually to get pigmented colors you sometimes have to wet the paint, like spritz them with water, and let them sit a little to make them nice and creamy, especially with the metallic paints. But with these ones I just had to put the paintbrush with a little bit of water on it, on the paint, and it immediately picked up the pigments. It was a really positive surprise to be honest. I didn't notice any graininess or pigment particles in the paint. Even if the pans themselves can look a little bumpy and rough and some of them have cracks in them and bubbles, it is nothing that affects the paint itself. My first impression is that I love how pigmented they are and how smoothly it goes on the paper. And of course you can dilute them and get them even lighter and more transparent because I know that some people do like the more transparent look. I also didn't get any chalky vibes from them and they seem to blend and mix nicely. And inside the lid of the box there is this color chart that you can fill in yourself so that you can keep track of the colors in the box and what they look like on paper. The packaging is a little clumsy to be honest if you haven't noticed, but it is really pretty and luxurious though with a gold stamp and the linen like texture. But there is no space to mix the colors and it is nothing that you just put into your purse and easily carries with you. You could just pick out some of your favorite colors though and put in a separate box to bring with you. I also did a little test on how well you can pick up or erase the colors once they've dried on the paper. And as you can see, even if I had a pretty thick and pigmented layer, the paint lifted up very easily. And I believe that if you use a more high quality paper, you could probably lift up even more pigments. And lastly, before testing these paints for a painting, I will just compare them to some other brands. I have Winsor Newton Coatman, Sakura Koi and Prima Confections. As I am no watercolor expert at all, I can honestly not see that much different, but the Winsor Newton paints are the most transparent of these brands. It took a lot of paint to get them despigmented. I don't know if this tells you that much, but here you can at least see how they look compared to other paints. So I will paint two little paintings today and I'm using my Moleskin watercolor sketchbook. I love the paper in this sketchbook, it is so thick and the pages lies flat and they don't warp or bend too much. 
Anywho, I thought I would also contribute to Mermaid, so I made this pretty little mermaid. I think it turned out so cute. And if you don't know what Mermaid is, you're supposed to draw one mermaid every day of May, but I will definitely not do that because we're moving in the beginning of June and we need to start packing our things soon. And guys, I will get a new huge art room in the new place, yay, and I can't wait to do a proper art room tour when I get all my things in order. So the watercolors, I think my biggest issue with these paints isn't really the paint itself, but the packaging. I'm used to having my color pens in a tin box that comes with mixing palettes and all that stuff, so I need to get used to having an extra separate mixing palette when using this. And this box is huge, so it takes up a lot of space on your desk, so it's obviously nothing that you bring with you to the park or on the vacation to paint, well, you can if you want to, but maybe in that case you would want something smaller, perhaps. However, if you are more like me and you never go outside to paint, this set isn't too bad if you have a little more space on your work area. The size of the box isn't a huge problem. And there are also smaller sets if you don't need or want all the 36 colors. Another thing I came to think about is that this is a cardboard box with watercolors, so it might become a little discolored and buckled and dented over time if you are a messy painter, but as I said before, you could just move the pans to another box. The paint itself was very nice to paint with. As I mentioned, the colors are very vibrant and it also feels covering, but not too covering, since you can still see the line work well through the paint. I first thought that the colors faded a bit more when they dried, but now looking at the footage afterwards, I don't think the colors changed that much, to be honest. Also, have in mind that the paper type can also affect the outcome of the paint. I do love how easily you can pick up the pigments. I could just take the tip of the paintbrush and pick up a little bit of paint without soaking the paint in water first. In the colors I use the most though, I know these small small dents already, so it feels like you could use them up pretty quickly if you paint a lot and use a lot of colors. The pans are huge though, so I still think it will take quite some time to fully use them up. And if you would run out of a specific color, you can just buy new separate pans if you want to. I think they are about $4 each or something. But yeah, I did enjoy quite a lot to work with these watercolors. Of the brands I already have, the ones you saw in the beginning of this video, these might be my favorite so far. I like the creaminess of the paint, the vibrancy, and how smooth and non-grainy they are. And of course, as with all new art mediums and art supplies, I will need a little more time to fully understand and get to know them, and to figure out which colors I prefer. But as for my first impression, I am very pleased with them. For my second picture, I'm painting a little fox with some fox gloves. I'm really happy with how both these paintings turned out. For me, watercolors is my go-to lazy art medium, and with that I mean when I want to quickly add colors to a sketch or just make a quicker art piece with some colors, I usually go with watercolors, since you can cover a lot of area very quickly and get a lot of pretty effects and play around with the colors and stuff, and you don't really feel like you're wasting a lot of material, since usually watercolors last very long, for me at least. 
So yeah, there are no real cons about this paint for me personally, besides the box, but I feel like I can get used to that. I feel positive about the watercolors, and if you would also like to try out vibrant watercolors, these might be something for you. So that is all for now, I hope you enjoyed this video and my little paintings. Let me know which your favorite watercolors are, if you have any. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here, and click on that little bell icon to get notified whenever I post new art and videos and I will see you next time. Keep drawing my happy cats. Bye!